The Special Prize Read and enjoy. Let's read the story to know how our actions can change the perception that others hold about us. What a naughty boy. He deserves to be thrashed. I have also received reports of his getting into fights with other boys. Send for him. Mohan. Hey, Mohan. The headmaster shouted for the chalky dar. Mohan guessed from the growl in the voice that the headmaster was very angry. He rushed in. Apprehensively and asked, Yes, sir. Hurry and get Tanay of class V, the headmaster ordered. Let me introduce Tanay to all of you. He is the second son of Rahul, the clerk of Pachumni village. Although rather thin he is strong, somewhat dark and has bright eyes. He is quite good at studies, but both at home and outside, there is no end to his pranks. He is always getting into trouble. But it must be admitted that he is never the first one to pick up a quarrel. But if anybody offends him he never hesitates to give back as good as he gets. He is the leader of his age group and is always ready to take up the cudgels on their behalf. He is popular and respected by his companions. After completing primary school at the village, Tanai had gone for a year to a high school. 25 miles away and stayed with his uncle. Now he is back home and is studying at Nyanpeet High School, a mile and a half from his village. He had only been at Nyanpeet a month and already there was a complaint against him. Harit, the shopkeeper of Pachumni village had complained to the headmaster that Tanay and a number of other boys had without provocation thrown stones at his shop the previous evening. Tanay had been the ringleader. Tanai came in with the chalky daryo and after glancing timidly at the headmaster stood with head lowered. Swinging his cane the headmaster demanded, You are Tanai, aren't you? Yes, sir, Tanai replied politely. Do you know this gentleman? The headmaster asked pointing at the shopkeeper. Yes, sir. He lives in our village. Well, is it true that last evening you and your friends threw stones at his shop? Tell me the truth, or I will flog the skin of your back. Yes, sir. It is true that I threw stones at his shop with Rohit and others. Why? Why did you do that, you rascal? Answer me, the headmaster thundered. Sir, this man cheats. He charges higher prices and gives less. Moreover, he has introduced a new kind of paper bag which is padded at the bottom. The day before yesterday we bought a kilo of tal from him. When we weighed the contents at home, it turned out to be only 800 grams. The padding in the bag weighed 50 grams, he had short weighted 150 grams. It is common knowledge in the village. When I questioned him about it yesterday, he abused me and chased me out of his shop. That is why I and the other boys threw stones at his shop. The headmaster looked at the shopkeeper, his face was crimson. The headmaster thought for some time, then turning to Tanaya he said, Even so, what you did was not right. It is wrong to harm the property of others. If the shopkeeper is dishonest it is for the government or the village panchayat to take up the matter. It is none of your business. Hold out your hand. Tanaya received five strokes of the cane. When he returned to his class, his classmates looked at him sideways and sniggered. There was another incident a few days later. It concerned a fierce ox which was menacing the locality. It had got several people. If anyone approached it with a stave it would charge at them. Everyone was terrified of it. The effrontery of the animal aroused Tanai's spirit. Wait you big bully. I will tame you, he mumbled. During the school break he brought a stave and a piece of string and slowly approached the ox. Waiting for the right opportunity, he jumped onto its back and put the string in his mouth as if bridling a horse. The ox was taken by surprise but the moment it felt the weight on its back it started stamping and buckling. It broke into a gallop hoping to throw the tormentor off its back. Meanwhile, the school break was over and class had resumed but Tanai was busy taming the ox. He managed to keep himself on the back of the tossing, buckling bronco, holding the string firmly. He patted the ox's back. 
that further enraged the animal. It crashed into the school compound and then into the room of class 7. The teacher and students were petrified and scattered in all directions, shoving and pushing their way out of the classroom. In the stampede many of them stumbled and fell. The teacher, Rashmi Sahara managed to escape unhurt by running outside. Several glass panes were broken by the haunts of the wildly prancing animal. Finally, the day stalks ran bellowing desperately into the school field and fell on its side. A few seconds later it jumped up and ran for its life, without a backward glance. So, there was another complaint lodged against Tanay, this time by the teacher Rashmi Sahara. The headmaster flew into a rage. The boy was a menace and a troublemaker. Not only the students but also the school building had suffered. The headmaster summoned Tanay again. Tanay appeared with Mohan the Chauki Dar. On seeing him the headmaster's temper boiled over. You are a wicked boy. Why did you lead the ox into the classroom? Speak up. The headmaster demanded brandishing his cane. Tanay replied. Head lowered, sir, I didn't lead the ox into the classroom. I was only riding on its back to tame it, and it suddenly ran into the room. Who asked you to ride an ox during school hours? Hold out your hand. Tanay received fifteen strokes of the headmaster's cane. His classmates again sniggered and ridiculed him. He was branded the bad boy of the school. Soon afterwards a notice was circulated in the school. It read, Tanay of class V has been given 15 strokes for riding an ox into class 7 and upsetting the teacher and students, also for causing breakage of glass panes. He has been further fined 2500 slash to pay for the damage. The notice concluded that Tanay would be expelled from school if he committed any such offense in future. A few boys who came out of their classes on the pretext of spitting outside, made faces at Tanay. On the same evening the headmaster had returned home, had his tea and was taking a stroll. This was his daily routine. Dusk was falling as he was on his way back when he saw the school's bad boy. Tanai was holding an old beggar woman's hand, while on his head he carried her begging basket. Walking alongside jeering at him were two boys of his class, Narendra, the one who came first and Mahesh. The old woman had fever. It had come on her during her begging round. She could hardly walk. On seeing the plight of the old woman Tanay had lifted her basket on his head and was taking the old woman's hand said, Granny, hold on to me. I'll walk you home. When Narendra and Mahesh saw the headmaster they saluted him and looked at Tanay with a derisive smile, pleased that the headmaster was witnessing himself one of Tanay's misdeeds. When the headmaster questioned the old woman, she told him how Tanai had come forward to help her. Her voice was trembling as she pointed to Tanai and said, Had this dear boy not been there, I would still have been lying on the road. May God shower him with blessings. The other two there also saw how ill I was but far from lending a helping hand they have been making fun of this dear boy. How heartless they are. The old woman started panting for breath. The headmaster scolded Narendra and Mahesh and sent them away. He asked Tanai to take the old woman to her home. Two weeks later the headmaster was returning home from his walk. On the road he saw the ox lying with a broken leg and kneeling besides it was Tanai rubbing some medicine on its injured leg and bandaging it. There were tears in Tanai's eyes. He was startled when the headmaster came and stood near him. He saluted the headmaster with folded hands. The headmaster asked, What are you doing here, Tanai? Sir, some wicked boys have broken the ox's leg. It is in great pain. Sir, is it not wrong to hurt dumb animals? Tanai asked sadly. Didn't you ride the same ox the other day, saying that it was wicked and needed taming? How has it become so good in your eyes today? Well, sir. It was very wicked. But since the day I rode it, it has reformed. It has not only stopped attacking people but also makes way for them. So they shouldn't have hurt it. It is in agony. I have chewed a few medicinal leaves and dressed his leg wound with the pulp. I have heard father say that it is very good for injuries, 
Sir, Tanai said, his heart full of sympathy for the ox and his eyes brimming with tears. The headmaster stood engrossed in thought. Then he looked at Tanai's face and affectionately patted him. Without a word, he started on his way home. His eyes were moist. It was the prize-giving day of Nyan Peet High School. The president of Guwahati College had been invited to preside over the function. This time the headmaster Rachit Barucha had decided to award a special prize to the student with the best character. Two books, the biographies of Mahatma Gandhi and Swami Vivekanand, were to be given as prizes. In the classroom students were discussing the special prize. In class V, Narendra laughed jeeringly and said loudly to Bhavesh, sitting next to him, Do you know, Bhavesh, that the special prize for the best character is being awarded to Tanai? The boys roared with laughter. Tanai's face grew red with humiliation and shame. He wished the ground would swallow him up. The function started. After the welcome of the president, the secretary's report was read. This was followed by a cultural program. Then the president delivered his speech and a few others spoke as well. Next came the prize distribution. The awardees glowed with pleasure and pride. Then was the time for the announcement of the special prize. Everyone waited expectantly. Addressing the assembly the headmaster announced, Honorable President and respected ladies and gentlemen, it has been decided to give the special prize for the best character to Sri Mantanai Hajari Lal of Class V. The teachers and students were dumbfounded. The faces of Narendra and Bhavesh were a sight to see. Tanai could not believe his ears. He could not muster the courage to get up to go on the stage and receive the prize. The headmaster repeated, Tanai Hajari Lal, Class V. His head reeled, could it be true, that he, known as the bad boy of the school, was being called up to receive the best character award. Tanai stood up, went to the president, did namaskar and received the prize. The headmaster then narrated how Tanai had helped the old beggar woman and nursed the injured ox. He also gave Tanai 500 slash from his own pocket. The hall resounded with applause. Tanai's eyes glistened with tears of joy.